Hi friends! Electric blue eyeliner. So my hiatus is finally over and I'm back with a tutorial. I posted a picture on Instagram of this look and you guys liked it, so I filmed it for you. I did kind of a lilac lid with an electric blue liner. I think this look is perfect for spring and summer. So if you'd like to see how to get this look, then please keep on watching. The first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelid with MAC's Painterly Paint Pot and I'm applying that all the way up to my brow bone and underneath my lower lash line. Then using my Artster brush, I'm going to dip it in a Smashbox eyeshadow in Nude and I'm going to apply that in my crease as usual as a transitional shade and I'm going to blend it upwards towards my brow and I'm going to focus on my inner eyelid. Taking a little bit of Mylar by MAC, I'm going to place it on my brow bone. Then I'm going to go back in with Nude and sort of blend it up towards Mylar. Now I'm going to take Digit by MAC and I'm going to pack it on the bottom half of my eyelid. And this is a really pale lilac shade. The camera doesn't do it justice, but it's super pretty. I personally think it looks great on all skin tones, especially if you're going for a mod look. Once I've applied the first layer, I'm going to wet that same brush with Max Fix Plus and I'm going to dip it back in Digit and I'm going to pack a second layer on my eyelid and this will make it super opaque and it'll make it stand out a lot more. And once I've done that, I'm going to go back in with Nude and again sort of blend them into one another. Pretty easy so far, right? Now I'm going to take this NYX Studio Liquid Eyeliner in Extreme Blue and I'm actually going to place it on a piece of cardboard because I don't like applying liquid eyeliner with the really flimsy applicators. So I'm going to use my trusty Artster brush and I'm going to dip it in this liner and I'm going to start creating a winged eyeliner. So I'm doing my usual wing. The only difference is this is colored. I find I have way more control when I apply my eyeliner with an Artster brush and it's just my personal preference. Kind of a perfectionist when it comes to my eyeliner. Don't worry if you get a little bit on your natural lashes. We're going to cover those up with false lashes anyway. So once I'm done the liner, I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara and this is MAC's False Lashes Extreme Black Mascara. And for falsies today, I'm using these eyelashes I got off eBay. They come with these little plastic stems on each side, so I'm trimming those off first. And the one downside to these lashes is that they're super bored straight, so I have to wrap them around my finger to kind of mold them into an eye shape. But I'm willing to put up with it because they're such a gorgeous lash and they're really inexpensive. I will link the seller in the description description box below. So I'm going to pop those on and then I'm going to apply a second layer of mascara to blend my natural lashes into my false lashes. Now I'm going to take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm going to apply it to my waterline. And I'm also going to apply it underneath my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of Digit and I'm going to place it over top of Milk underneath my bottom lash line. And I'm going to run that all the way up into my tear ducts. Now I'm very carefully applying black mascara to my bottom lashes. And to give my bottom lash line a little bit more pop and tie it in with the liner, I'm going in with Gosh's Amazing Length and Build Mascara. And this is an electric blue. For bronzer, I'm using my all-time favorite and it's the Smashbox Soft Lights in Dusk. And I'm using an e.l.f. brush to apply it on the perimeter of my face and then I'm turning the brush sideways and I'm going to contour my cheekbones and for blush today I'm using this really hot pink it's by NYX and it's called Pinky and because I feel like I put a little bit too much blush on I'm going to go in with my foundation brush which has a little bit of foundation left on it and I'm going to soften it out Now I'm going in with the Essence Matte Powder and the same brush that I use for bronzer and I'm going to mattify my skin a little bit. And for lips, I'm going to start out by moisturizing them with the Nivea Lip Butter and Raspberry Rose Kiss. This is a super pretty sort of pale pink and it smells delish. And for lipstick, I'm going to do a combination between the MAC Viva Glam Nikki 2 and Up The Amp. I feel like this combination gives the perfect blue-pink lipstick and you guys know how I feel about blue pinks. And that concludes my tutorial. I'm not going to lie, I think that was super simple and I have confidence that you guys are going to pull this off pretty easily. All of the products that I use will be listed in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!